Welcome back to our channel. Today we are sharing with you our IKEA Collax hack to make it into a bench storage unit. We just downsized from a 3,200 square foot plus home down to about 1,500 square feet. So we are trying to maximize as much storage and space as possible while still keeping it very minimal. So keep watching and see what we do. So if you're not familiar with the IKEA Collax, it is actually a shelf that you can change into different things. You could turn it into a bookshelf, obviously, an entertainment unit, a TV stand. Um, it's pretty endless with the possibilities, but we decided to use it for under our window. We have a spectacular view in our home of an acreage, so we wanted to create a space where the girls can sit, as well as some extra storage area. So normally we are pretty handy, um, Dan and I together, we make a good team with designing and building. So we could have built an entire you know, unit ourselves with our own wood. But as you can see, we have two little girls who are very curious, who want to be involved. So sometimes you just have to pay a little bit extra money to save yourself some time. So that is what we did here. So there is a heat register in the floor where we were putting the bench. So we just closed the vent. There is ways to work around that, but uh, we're not too concerned about it. So the foam that we are using is actually a couch support foam that we already had. And it is pretty expensive, so I didn't want it to go to waste. Uh, we decided to keep it. It actually fit perfectly to where we wanted it. So Dan just outlined it and then he started to cut it into the size that we needed. You could go for a more comfier route and get an actual um, cushion foam. That works as well. So to make this hack a true hack, we are just stapling a fabric that I found at Walmart to the foam. So in order to do that, we needed something to actually have the staples adhere to. So Dan is gluing a piece of plywood, um, just a piece of scrap plywood since we didn't need anything too big. And he is going to stick it to the foamy and then let it dry. This type of project is something that we would normally do in a garage or workshop, but the week that we decided to do this, it was a minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. So we are making do in the house. Uh, no children were harmed in the process. So now that the board is relatively dry to the foamy, um, it is still a little bit bowed, but that will flatten out over time. Um, we are now just measuring out the fabric. Dan just kind of gave a rough estimate. He made sure to have a bit of overhang so that there was room to staple and just to kind of pull it nice and tight. We did end up shortening the end pieces because it would end up being just too much fabric to fold in. And this part, the corners, we are not experts at this. We literally did maybe two minutes of research into how to do this. So by no means is this perfect, but I think we did a pretty good job for not really knowing what we were doing. But the idea is to pull in the corner first and then kind of fold in the sides like a little taco. We do plan on getting some industrial Velcro strips so that we can have the cushion, the plywood section, actually Velcro to the top of the collax shelf just so that when the girls do climb all over it, it's not sliding around. Though the plywood keeps it pretty heavy. Um, so far it hasn't slid around too much, but that is in the works. So after we got the corners all stapled in, it was the moment of truth to see how it all fit together. Um, it does slide so that it fits flush on either side. And I think we did a pretty good job. I ended up just doing some assorted baskets for the bottom. I haven't quite figured out what's gonna go in the bottom quite yet, but it will be mostly for blankets um, and just 
children safe things. You could do a more practical storage with cubes and use it for books, toys, whatever you need. But that's just what we decided to do. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you were able to get some ideas.